Hello, my name is Joyce Gibb. Thanks so much for being with me today. One of the things I get questions about pretty frequently is, um, should I do like a, a cleanse? You know, what kind of cleanses can I do? Um, one of the things that I use very frequently and recommend for patients is a C flush. So we have a vitamin C powder and there's 3000 milligrams in a teaspoon of the C powder. And it citrus flavored. It is not citrus, which is what you typically see with vitamin C, but it's flavored citrus and it's actually made from beets. And as you know, beets have nitric oxide in them too. But um, this product I just love because you can put it in a little bit of water, a couple, two to three ounces of water, two teaspoons every 15 minutes and it fizzes. So you wait till it's done fizzing, and you drink it down. And typically people need every 15 minutes times six is typically the, the dose. So if you're doing two teaspoons of this, you are getting at least six grams of vitamin C. And in the vitamin C, just to let you know, there's more than just C. They have some electrolytes, which is potassium, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. So typically people do not get dehydrated when they do this. You know, after about probably the fourth set of two teaspoons, um, you just drink it down in a couple ounces of water. You don't want to do a whole big volume of it. Uh, you don't need that. But it pulls water into your stool and also increases the motility. So it projects your stool forward. So your belly will get kind of rumbly. Um, and typically most people need those six teaspoons. Some people need more, but typically I try not to go past that. And then all at once you have Dr. Russ Jaffe, he always talks about the internal enema that comes out. So just all this brown water comes out, this kind of descriptive, but then it eventually, in like every 15 minutes, you're on the toilet again. Um, and usually within six full hours, you're completely done with that. Um, and it gets longer and longer in between. And I always tell people just have some G2 or some electrolyte solution um, available to drink just in case you need to do that. The day you're going to do this cleanse, then make sure you don't eat or you don't eat during the cleanse because this thing will go on and on forever. And so typically doing that first thing in the morning um, is the best way to do that or around noon. And then you go ahead and the next day you do not take vitamin C because all those C receptor sites are saturated with C. If you do C again, you're going to have more diarrhea. The other thing about vitamin C, you cannot get vitamin C made internally by your body. Um, you have to get it supplementally or a thousand oranges, <laughs> which is, you know, not a very good way to do it. And who could do that? But um, C, you know, these C flushes are used before colonoscopies. It's a lot less involved. You don't feel like you're going to throw up from drinking so much volume and you hadn't like evacuated your bowels yet. Um, so it's a very good thing to do just to do a clean out. And, you know, you feel like I'm just not having the regular bowel movements like I should. And you can uh, do that. Just have some other electrolyte solution just in case you get leg cramps or something like that. Now, people don't typically give that. I just say be prepared. So, you know, vitamin C is great for your health. It's an immune modulator. It upregulates the detox pathways. And then because you empty your colon, what's upstream from your colon is actually your liver. So then it lets your liver be more efficient in, you know, getting rid of the toxins that it's exposed to every single minute of every single day. So you want to talk to me about this further and the benefits of vitamin C flush, uh, just let me know and give us a call. Thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. If you want to make sure you're getting the latest health information, click the subscribe button below and ring the bell. That way you can make sure you're not going to miss out on any of the latest information.